Up next on episode 4 of Tony Gaming News and local news, Gauteng Government and University of Johannesburg tackle e-waste. DSTV ends password sharing. New gaming lounge, Play PS, opens with a bang in Pretoria. In international and headline news, Sony reveals PlayStation VR 2 design. Snoop Dogg launches 10,000 NFTs in the sandbox, a metaverse game. Elon Musk and the co-owner of Ethereum propose artificial wounds. Stay tuned for details. So I need games. It's never game over. Hey Ta, how's it my ninjas? It's your boy, the Twiny Gamer, bringing you episode 4 of Twiny Gaming Podcast, Africa's only bi-weekly technology and gaming news podcast, recorded from my home city, Pretoria. 012 baby, this episode is packed full of sound bites, which range from interesting to straight up bizarre. So smoke some weed, play your favorite Snoop Dogg track, cause today I'm taking you high to the metaverse. Let's go, beginning with local news. The Gauteng Provinces Department of E-Government and the University of Johannesburg or UJ have agreed to work together to launch the Gauteng E-Waste Management System in order to tackle the province's electronic waste problem. The project is launching on 1 March and was revealed by Gauteng Premier David Makura in his State of the Province Address on Monday. A UJ spokesman said this will include ways to recycle obsolete, unused or unwanted electronic equipment including data storage devices securely and responsibly so the hardware doesn't end up in landfills or damaging nature. Companies that fail to comply with the new regulations will face fines or even imprisonment. South African broadcasting group MultiChoice is moving to end the practice of password sharing on its DSTV Now streaming service in South Africa and the rest of Africa by March 2022. The broadcaster released an email to its subscribers on Tuesday saying, quote, as part of our ongoing efforts to counteract password sharing and piracy while continuing to bring you the best viewing experience, we will be introducing measures to limit concurrent streaming from 22 March 2022. Customers will be limited to streaming DSTV on one device at a time. They will still be able to watch previously downloaded content on a second device, end quote. However, DSTV says Showmax customers are not affected by the changes. A new gaming lounge, PlayPS, has recently opened in Hatfield Square, Pretoria, and it is one of the only gaming cafes in the area offering gamers the opportunity to play PlayStation 5s. PlayPS held its first eSports tournament, a FIFA competition, last Saturday, where Twiny Gamer recorded this podcast with the owner. Let's talk to the owner of, of PlayPS, the guy who made it all happen, man. The guy who made it, the guy, the guy who made it happen, man. So, so homie, please introduce yourself, man, to the, to the gaming crowd, yeah, the FIFA crowd in, in SA. Who are you and why did you start PlayPS? Uh, my name is Vukile. I guess I just have love for, for the sports, man. Uh, esports is growing and I feel like it's something that you need to try uh, and grow in, in small ways that you can. Yeah, I mean, I've always enjoyed playing, uh, although I'm not that great, uh, but uh, yeah, I do uh, enjoy playing once in a while. So why did you decide to start this, this, this gaming cafe in Hedgeville Square? Yeah, well, I think this is an evolving um, industry, man. I think uh, it's growing, it's on the way up, uh, and it does need support to, to kind of make it mainstream. And there is money to be made, yeah. I think the guys need to know that you just need to lower the uh, barriers to entry, right? So by having a space like this, we, we make it possible for people who can't maybe afford the consoles to, to come and just have a good time and get, uh, and get exposed to, to the field. Please don't go anywhere. We will be back with the international and headline news after this quick ad break from Spider Media. Are you a social media influencer, event planner, or agency who needs professional filming and photography done in South Africa but at a shoestring budget? Look no further than Spidey Media, a social media production company based in Pretoria which was founded by me in 2021 after working more than 10 years in South Africa's cutthroat media landscape. For only 3,998 rand or 298 US dollars, my spiders can film and photograph at your social media shoot or social event for 3 hours and deliver the content to you within 72 hours or 10% money back guaranteed. You heard right, my spiders will work at your gig for 3 hours, submit the content within 72 hours 
or I will personally reimburse you with 10% of your money if we miss deadline. Don't become a victim of these chance takers calling themselves photographers and videographers just because they have a fancy camera. Trust me, I've seen how they will rip off good people like you. Please use the links provided in the details or descriptions of this podcast to visit my website spidermedia.web.za that is spider spelled S-P-Y-D-R to hire one of my professional spiders for reliable, cheap media content fast. In today's international and headline news, on Tuesday, 22 February 2022, the PlayStation blog released images of the PS VR2 headset and Sense controllers. Externally, the PlayStation VR2 looks similar to its predecessor, but its biggest improvements can be found in its performance. Besides reduced weight and vibration function, the two biggest changes are the lens adjustment dials, which allow users to manually adjust the lens distance between their eyes to optimize their view, as well as a ventilation system, which prevents the lenses from fogging up while players are immersed in their VR metaverse experience. Sony is expected to announce the price of the headset at the 2022 Game Developers Conference on 21 March in San Francisco, USA. Also on Tuesday, 22 February 2022, the dog father of rap music, Snoop Dogg, launched 10,000 NFTs called Doggies for Season 2 of the open world metaverse game, The Sandbox. By Wednesday, 23 February, Snoop announced on his Twitter account that all 10k doggies were sold out. An NFT or non-fungible token is Collins Dictionary's word of the year for 2021. In layman's terms, NFTs are digital collectibles, the ownership of which is locked and transferable on the blockchain network. Network. There are seven different types of Snoop Dogg NFTs with 150 trades handcrafted by Snoop Dogg and the Sandbox voxel artists. Doggy's avatars sold for 150 sand or 7,070 rand but are now being flipped by resellers on OpenSea.io for prices starting from 0.3 Ethereum or 11,700 rand. Here is the Twitter clip of Snoop Dogg announcing the sale of his doggies. NFT. Never forget to pass it. What up, though? This is Big Snoop Dogg, and I'm turning you on to that Sandbox 10,000 Avatars doggy collection that we about to drop. It's 10,000 Avatars that look like me. Got some special moments, special outfits, special looks, and some exclusives. So make sure you go get it right now. Doggy. When the weed come around, real shit, two puffs, nigga, pass it. I only want that loud talk. Oh, you got it? Speaking of Ethereum, the Russian-Canadian co-founder of this cryptocurrency, Vitalik Buterin, proposed artificial wombs to solve the gender pay gap during a Twitter conversation with South African-born billionaire Elon Musk last month. This sound clip from We Are News has more details. Meet Vitalik Buterin, the co-founder of Ethereum, the second best cryptocurrency after Bitcoin. The 27-year-old inventor has pitched a bold solution to end the economic disparities between men and women and also to prevent our planet from a population collapse. He wants to replace pregnant women with synthetic wombs. A proposal that has drawn the wrath of feminists. Buterin shared this techno-utopian solution in a Twitter exchange with the ultimate tech visionary Elon Musk. Of late, the Tesla tycoon has been expressing his concerns about an impending global population collapse. He's been sharing tweets about falling birth rates the world over, which Musk says won't leave enough people for his relocation plans to Mars. Buterin chimed in to Musk's complaints online with the controversial solution, synthetic wombs. He even shared a graph to justify his views. It pointed out how women's earnings drop significantly after a child, but for men, they remain unchanged. Synthetic wombs, according to him, can remove the high burden of pregnancy and reduce income disparities. And that, my ninjas, concludes episode 4 of Tiny Gaming News. Told you it's bizarre. Would you spend sand, ethereum or whatever cryptocurrency to buy NFT avatars for the metaverse? Are artificial wombs the final solution for creating gender equality? Detonate the comment section with your opinions. Y'all know I love you ninjas. So until the next podcast coming mid-March, it's never game over. <laughs>